What if America's most notorious disease spreader had just listened to doctors? In 1907, Mary Mallon was told she carried typhoid but showed no symptoms. Instead of denying it, imagine she simply said, okay, and stopped cooking. No more working in wealthy New York households. No more spreading death through dinner plates. Dozens of families would never have gotten sick. Children wouldn't have died from her meals. The wealthy households she infected could have lived normal lives instead of watching their kids waste away from fever. Her cooperation would have created the first real protocols for healthy carriers decades before we understood how diseases spread. No forced imprisonment on North Brother Island, no civil rights nightmare, just voluntary isolation and a career change. She wouldn't have become the face of public health tyranny. But here's the twist. Authorities probably would have found someone else to blame and demonize anyway. One woman accepting science could have saved dozens of lives and changed how we handle invisible threats forever. Sometimes listening to experts is literally life or death.